Hey everybody, welcome to a new series. This is the Minecraft Style Guide. I'll be making these videos intermittently. Um, this one is for Minecraft 1.8 pre-release 3 as Minecraft itself uh, 1.8 drops tomorrow. So, without further ado, we'll get our single player sandbox game loaded. It's in creative mode. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have going on over here. <clears throat> when you guys uh, start playing Minecraft 1.8 after dropping tomorrow, if you haven't already started playing the pre-release, uh, many people do actually wait, um, you're going to see a whole lot of new materials available. And these new materials are things like uh, granite, diorite, and andesite, to name a couple. Um, there's also some more exotic ones, <clears throat> like prismarine, prismarine bricks, dark prismarine. Um, yeah, uh, so, and then there's plenty of crafting recipes on doing things like making musty stone bricks, and there are a lot of other people covering that stuff. But I was going to do a quick style guide on... Um, Comparing some of these materials that you might use to build something common things like roads and pathways So that's what I've established right here uh, We'll just go take a quick lock walk down here What I did is I arranged all the different uh, materials that someone might use there's 13 rows and 13 columns so um, <clears throat> we're looking at a big 13 squared area and this first one is uh, basically a row of polished granite in the middle with various things on the side to sort of border in these these blocks. And we can take a nice little stroll uh, down this one to see any things that stand out. I for, sort of flagged some ones that were my favorite. I like this one with cobblestone on the side because cobblestone and uh, granite are both, both going to be easily found right at the very beginning of the game. Uh, here's one boarded with sandstone, boarded with brick, <clears throat> boarded with um, with stone brick, or stone block, I should say. Um, no, that's stone brick, I think. Damn weather. What are you doing? You're ruining my... Let's play here. Let's just clear that. Alrighty, back at it. Uh, this one is more of an end game one because it takes, uh, well, a, or at least a mid game, because uh, you have to get to the nether before you can get a hold of these nether bricks to do it. But it's uh, got a li nice little bit of contrast. And this one is pretty much more end game, end game, as it requires prismarine bricks, um, which requires defeating the brand new underwater temple. So those are some favorites that I have with the readily available polished granite in the middle. <clears throat> Let's fly back to the beginning here. And now we're taking a look at diorite in the center. And there's really only one of these that I really kind of liked as sort of a pathway, but diorite has a lot of other uses. So this is diorite with uh, regular clay brick on both sides. We're going to go ahead and set, set the time really quick to the correct time. To daytime. There's daytime. Okay, so this is uh, diorite with red brick, uh, regular old brick lining it. That gives you a nice uh, fancy looking sort of white and red theme there. And you can, I'll walk down here so you can take a look at the other ones. None of the other ones really stood out to me and said, you must use this right now for your pathways. So there you go. That's what those pathways sort of look like. Fly back here and drop down again. Here's what these pathways look like. This one's kind of cool. <clears throat> it's a little bit bland, but it has uh, sort of a dull texture in the middle and an interesting texture on the sides. And it is uh, done with polished andesite and cobblestone. Again, two early uh, early resources that you're going to have readily available at all at all times and all places. And we'll just go down here and take a look at this <clears throat> andesite um, sort of setup. There you have it. Next row, please. So this is cobblestone in the middle. A lot of people in many different versions of Minecraft have used cobblestone. Uh, this is cobblestone bordered with granite. I really like how the granite gives the cobblestone sort of a, a, a feeling of a little bit of depth. Actually, a little bit more depth. Um, 
and some dimensionality. So the cobblestone can still be used as a pathway. You just board it with some interesting stuff. Here, is, here it is uh, boarded with andesite. That looks pretty cool. And walking down here, boarded with brick isn't bad. And just walking along. Okay, back to the beginning for the next set. And here is what sandstone looks like. Once again, boarded with polished granite. That gives it a nice... Uh, a pretty nice level feel and we'll just walk down the streetway here with the different borders so you can kind of see how they mesh together this one looks cool with the two different colors of sandstone sandstone that's available and we'll keep on walking and this is our first time that we really start seeing dark prismarine as uh, as a potential border around sandstone that looks pretty sharp once again that's going to be an end game kind of thing Oh yeah, and just for the sake of saying I did, I, uh, I did a bunch of quartz-lined pathways. So everything pretty much in this red box here <clears throat> is going to be readily available in the overworld. Um, to varying degrees. Brick might get a little bit rare because you have to dig it up from the bottoms of streams and oceans and stuff. Get the clay. Uh, I really liked how this andesite was bordering this brick here, so I marked that as sort of one of my favorites. Walking along, of course. And then here we have uh, brick bordered by prismarine bricks. Actually really stood out to me as an interesting color combination to use. And then we'll just finish out the tour <clears throat> and move on to the next uh, next line. All right. Oh, I didn't stop. <laughs> Using uh, stone brick along with uh, with uh, granite has a really nice look. And once again, this is going to be available to everyone in the early game. Here's brick and stone brick together. Looks pretty good. And just moving along so you can see what the rest of this trails look like with the different combinations. And now we are on to the rarer stuff. So here's our first look at uh, Nether Brick. Uh, and being bordered once again by granite looks pretty okay. This is one of the few cases that I actually like the look of the polished diorite as a border around the Nether Brick. And we'll just walk up the rest of the nether brick line here. And at the end, if you're looking ahead already, waiting till we get there, gotta be patient, gotta be patient. Nether brick and quartz uh, is actually pretty nice, but that is all. This is only available uh, in the nether, and you have to gather a lot of quartz if you're gonna line all your pathways and stuff with it. So let's fly back and take a look at the red sandstone. Okay, I really only saw one combination that really stood out to me and looked nice, which was this uh, red stand sandstone pathway bordered by regular old sandstone. So we'll just walk this one out to the end. And that is it for red sandstone. Next we get to the Prismarine. This is only available in the uh, in the new temple after you defeat all of the bosses. And it's really, really tough. You're going to need full endgame gear to be able to pull it off. So let's take a look at this. <clears throat> this is kind of a noisy blue pattern, but if you border it with uh, this polished andesite, it looks pretty cool. That's too noisy for me. And we keep on walking. And find that this two-tone texture right here uh, using old prismarine and prismarine bricks actually gives us a nice uh, nice contrast and textures and a little bit of a uh, hint of depth so I kind of liked how that turned out and then we're moving on here okay now once again we're looking at prismarine bricks only available from the new ocean temple And I liked how prismarine bricks turned out looking uh, bordered by the nether bricks. This uh, just looked pretty good to me. Mm -hmm. 
And then also the prismarine bricks bordered by quartz. That'd be a completely end game sort of thing, uh, or someone in creative mode like me who has unlimited quantities of the stuff. So we'll fly on down and take a look at dark prismarine now. None of these combinations particularly jumped out at me and said, hey, take a look at this, uh, until we get further up on the line where we get to dark prismarine bordered by prismarine bricks. <clears throat> so we get a shading gradient as well as a little bit of a different texture, but it's not overly noisy. It's still a little bit busy for my particular taste, but uh, given the right setting, this could look really, really good. And we'll just finish out the path. And then last but not least, just for the sake of saying we did, we'll take a look at the quartz run, even though no one in their right mind would ever use quartz to lay down paths like this. It would just take such huge quantities of the stuff. But there are a couple of interesting combinations. <clears throat> There's quartz lined with nether brick. And quartz lined with prismarine. And quartz lined with prismarine bricks. Now this one of the quartz lines is actually my favorite, but again, uh, if you're actually in survival, play primarily survival like I do, finding these types of resources to beautify your stuff is going to be really, really problematic. So here is a village where I have done cobblestone lined with granite. And as you take a walk down the village, it actually, the place looks pretty darn sharp. <clears throat> it's a huge improvement over the standard gravel pathways that are part of these villages. So when you're looking to make your village, uh, dress up your villages and populate them uh, and stuff, go ahead and really uh, dress them up with some of these new stones. There's plenty of them available. I also replaced the gravel around the well with, uh, with some andesite. Okay, so here's another village that I lined uh, with. I replaced all the gravel with, with brick and then bordered the entire roadway with this polished andesite, which was another one of my sort of pretty easy to uh, get stuff. This would actually take a fair amount of clay to pull off, but as you can see, it gives the village a pretty nice upper scale look. Again, replacing the uh, well, the gravel around the well with the polished andesite gave it a nice finished look. And all these guys are seem pretty happy about how the village looks. So here is one last glance to close out the uh, to close out the episode of all the different combinations from sort of a high altitude. Uh, your visual style might be a little bit different than mine, and if you want to refer back to this video and take a walk down <clears throat> these lanes to see what some of these resources look like paired together in your pathways, this will give you a really good chance to really dress up your villages and, uh, and home bases. So keep this style guide in mind, and thanks again for watching. Until next time.